think we played our best game tonight. We did. We knew we had to play a better hockey game. One of our best to beat a very good team, and I thought our guys from start to finish were were on it. And <clears throat> still was hard, but we got the first goal and got better. And I thought our penalty kill again was outstanding. Shep again, great when he needed to be, but just a real team effort. And uh, couldn't be more proud of this group. They, uh, they 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 went through some different challenges this year. Um, <clears throat> they really grew together as a team and. I'm just really excited for them to, to be national champions again. Questions for the players? Jim, right here in front. Thank you, Jim Conner from U.S. College Hockey Online. Mike, can you take us through your goal? It looked like off the face off, maybe you got pushed out of the zone and then UMass almost lost you and that allowed you to kind of walk down Broadway? Yeah, I mean, off the draw, puck came out. Um, I just tried to throw it back down low because I saw him coming out, and he finished his hit, and it was good, good hit by him. I, I, I fell back, so um, I think he went in the zone, just kind of realized I was going to be out of the play, and then uh, Parker was coming up the boards, and he made a great play through the middle, and I just tried to find a hole, and um, Parker connected, and then I just had to had to put it upstairs. John, uh, this is for Parker. John Warrell with the Associated Press. How meaningful is this to wrap up your career at Minnesota Duluth with consecutive championships and to go out with, you know, essentially the winning, the winning goal and, and a big assist? Yeah, um, <clears throat> it's incredible, obviously. Uh, obviously, you can't write it any better than that. Um, so fortunate to be able to make the regionals all four years, let alone three frozen fours and then uh, winning two national championships. So, um, so happy to do it with. Uh, some incredible friends in there. Um, again, the coaching staff, to have the coaching staff that I had for four years. Um, it's no shock that we were we were here for three times in a row, and um, I'm, I'm looking forward to obviously watching this group in, in, in the future. Okay, right here in front. Dan Rubin from US College Hockey Online. This is for uh, whoever wants it. Um, but for you guys, what's it like to, to play in the NCHC, the fact that you've gone to three national championship games, one was against Denver, and, and the fact that uh, playing in the league, how does that kind of prepare you to get to this point and then succeed at this level? Hunter, jump in there, Hunter. I mean, there's not really any weekends off in that league. Uh, there's no bottom feeders, and anybody can beat anybody on any night, and uh, you're battle tested when you get to the end of the year, and I think um, that's really helped our team be built for the playoffs, playing such a, a tough schedule. I don't think we had a tough schedule in the country this year, so. When you can be at the top of that league and, and put together the, the seasons we have over the last couple of years, uh, it's a testament to our coaching staff and our, our players in our locker room.